Hey guys, and welcome back to Hobo Sexual Unlocked with KT. This is our Prison Bay edition. Okay, I'm going to unlock this entire thing with Monique and Derek on the Love After Lock Up show. It's just been a mess. Let me tell you this, full disclaimer, I have not watched all of those episodes. I'm not even interested in watching all of those episodes. I want to break it down from a hobosexual mindset point of view. I ran across a video I think it was Fox Soul with Funky Dineva and Funky Dineva was having some words with Monique from the show. So I got curious, looked it up on, I, I think it's Wee TV, their YouTube channel, saw a few clips and I was like, what? What? Another hobosexual? Prison Bay? <laughs> I mean, it, it, look, the bottom line is this. I'm all for love. Okay, I'm all for love. Uh, no matter what size of the woman um, that it is, things like that. Hell, I'm, I'm working on uh, losing some weight myself. But my thing is this. This lady catfished this guy. Now, she's a pretty lady. She's a pretty lady. But she catfished this guy in the face area. Never sent him full body shots. Okay? And then now she's trying to control this man. And it's just crazy to me. My thing is this, when those guys are in prison, honey, we we know they have nothing but time. So you know good and well they're going to tell you whatever you want to hear so you can send that money and put that money on the books. And if you're giving them a lot of money, they're going to share your information with other guys that are in there with that same homosexual mentality. Okay, I, I'm telling you. And then what happens is, next thing you know, his homeboy is trying to holler at you. Or, trust me, honey, they got a, a whole plan going on up in there. I'm telling you. So it looks like Monique has already spent um, a pretty penny on Derek, unfortunately. And it appears to me that she's just, you know, buying love, trying to buy love. Um, I can't really gauge it like that to see, okay, does this guy really like her or not? Because uh, I'm just going to tell you, my first impression is, oh, I mean, this is simple. I mean, he's clearly using her for her money. But the mere fact that he's actually trying to help her lose weight, I'm like, okay, maybe he has some feelings for her or whatever else. But the whole thing to me is just an absolute embarrassment. I mean, it is an absolute embarrassment. I really think Monique just needs to work on her uh, uh, self-care, self-help, and and things like that. Honey, if you feel like you have to buy a man clothes and try to, um, you know, kind of block him from spending time with his family or his friends so you can have him all to yourself, honey, you have some self-esteem issues. And let's just be real here. What Funky Dineva said is the absolute truth. Funky Dineva said what a lot of us were thinking and a lot of people just don't want to hurt feelings and you know don't want to be uh you know that person but it's the truth like come on now you know good and well if Monique was walking down the street and Derek was walking down the street Derek would not go up to that woman for anything other than trying to get her to spend some money because I can guarantee you based on the way that man looks He is not going for her like that. I guarantee you he has another type. And it's like, you know, she's just delusional to me. She's absolutely delusional. So my thing is, I just wanted to break it down from a hobosexual standpoint. Because even though these guys are in prison, these particular type of homosexuals are in prison they got one thing in mind honey and i'm telling you it is your purse baby your purse your wallet your benefits i'm telling you what can you put on the books they'll tell you everything you want to hear just so they can get that money honey